News at Noon. All right, 24, we're in the kitchen now with who else? Kim Wilcox <laughs> from It's All So Yummy Cafe. How are you this I'm afternoon? Great. I'm great. Maureen, what's going on? How are you, Mike? Well, I'm doing, <laughs> jeez, jeez, <laughs> I feel the love in here. Just so much love right now. We're talking about making a batch of brownies, right? Yes. Sham for what? <laughs> for St. Patrick's Day. We're, these are you're making brownies in there, and now they're in the we balls. Are. Let me take over. Okay. okay. Let me tell you. Let me tell you how we're gonna do this. Okay. So you're making a batch of brownies. So first. I I made a batch of brownies. Out of okay? the box or homemade? I, it, you can do either way. For ease, I would do it out of the box. Okay. Cook them until they're done, and while they're still a little warm to the touch, you want to crumble them up like this. Okay. Oh. You're just gonna crumble them up. I'm going to add to this to help them stick together a little bit. Some syrup, like you add a chocolate syrup. This is gonna be your glue to hold your brownie balls together, okay? Then you're gonna keep mixing and mixing and mixing. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna form these. You're intrigued, aren't you? I am I can fascinated tell. by You this. are so excited. You okay. got us all intrigued. <laughs> We're gonna do golf ball size brownie balls. Okay. Okay. So then what I would do from this point is take some chocolate frosting. And I, I just would take the canned stuff, put it in the microwave till it gets a little thin, and cover your brownie balls with that, okay, as a okay. base. When that sets a little bit, like these have, then you can go on to your decorating. Okay. So I've made a peppermint buttercream. Oh, then that, okay, now you have me. Yeah. Now you, the brownies, the double chocolate, like I'm not a yes. chocolate guy myself, but this sounds amazing. So you can do a peppermint buttercream on there. And then you can decorate them however you want to. Are you to. serving these in the cafe? We are going to serve these in the cafe. This looks actually. amazing. And, and some of these, actually, candies, when, right when you're at this point right here, <laughs> you can add stuff to it. Like I've added to some of these some crushed up Andy's mints. Well, that sounds amazing. Yeah, it is good. That's so it's amazing. like a shamrock shake in a brownie ball. Listen, this is really a good idea, actually. And this is a good well, idea. thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, most <laughs> things you do are pretty good ideas. Uh, but, but what I was going to say is this is a good idea for people who have St. Patrick's Day parties this weekend. Yes. And I wanted to have one myself, so maybe this I'll, I'll do yes. this. Yes. And maybe fun. I'll invite you. And uh, you <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Will you help crack? Yes, okay, I will. I'll invite you. Okay. Uh, anyways, hey, real quick, um, side note. You have, uh, isn't um, 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 Grilled Cheese Month coming up? It is. Oh, my gosh. We've got so much stuff planned. Dude, you, I mean, follow her on Facebook, by the way, because oh. she's all over it. Uh, it's amazing. It's also Yummy Cafe right there off of Peter's. And there's one in Oak Ridge, too. There is one in Oak Ridge, too. How's uh -huh. business? It's doing well. It's Thank amazing. Yeah. And if you've never been there, never tried their soups or sandwiches, I highly recommend it. They are the bomb. Thank you. And I'd say the brownie bomb. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> She's like my mom.